Greetings everyone and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can use uh, instance node in Houdini and use uh, the file on disk loaded as a pack disk primitive and distributed on the points randomly and also you can do based on the attribute you create here I'm going to show you how to do that so let me just create a geometry and just dive inside create a sphere and change type to polygon add some division and add the mountain you can consider this as a like rock or something and you want to have like 50 maybe variation on disk I already set uh, the the timeline to from start to 1 to 50 and I just use the dollar f here in the time so we can get different variation for each frame and also let me just create a connectivity node and just because I want to assign a random color also and based on this connectivity and class attribute I just copy that and use a color connect here and just use random from attribute and paste and also change to dollar f again and now you can see we have different color and different shape now I'm going to use attribute delete because I don't want this class attribute to save in the file so just remove this class attribute and now I'm going to cache this rocks on this disk using like can change the name just maybe for example instance so if I middle click here and scrub the timeline you can see it's going to change this number instance number 44 now here is 50 and here is one for example and just I'm just going to copy this one for now and we can just save on disk is very fast already cached and now I'm going to just use a grid you can do use this technique if you want to for example instance this rocks as a debris for example on particles so the size is fine just change the rows on columns 200 and now the mountain and change maybe the element size and height and scatter some points maybe 2000 and now it's time to create the attribute before that I'm going to just create an instance node to show you the attribute is by default is going to look for this attribute you can just name it anything you want and maybe I just use instance file for example let me just instance file yeah and here I'm going to create attribute wrangle and what we have to do is to ge just generate a random number between 1 to 50 as the amount of rocks we save on the disk so I'm just write uh, the code in Visual Studio so it's more clear and bigger you can see the code first I just need to create an integer attribute like ID and use fit 01 random like at pt num and fit between 1 to 50 okay the next thing we have to create an, a string attribute as we had on the instance node so I think it was instance file and is equal to a printf these are like a printf function but the uh, the only difference is going to return the return the attribute and save it into to the variable here it's going to return the value actually 
so it's not going to print it in the Houdini console. So now it's just need to paste this path we already copied and just and replace this dollar f with uh, percent s and this like a placeholder here so if i use the this id attribute uh, the variable we have here at the end it's going to replace it with with it's going to replace this percent s with this id and let me just use id and this is all we need for now just copy the code and paste to see if you have any error or something so it is working now we have a instance file attribute here as you can see for each point we have different number if i click here on the instance file attribute here it's going to sort it so we can see some points have one three 12 and etc now if i you can see here if you have some error it's because this is going to return a float variable so we can just use an int here and to make sure it's all integer attribute so now it's fixed and this is the attribute name we have just copy so we have it already here but yeah now we have the the rocks is scattered on these points or copied and also you can use the like attribute randomize all the normal attribute that you use you use always on the instances like p scale i can change the global scale here and use the p scale attribute and add a little bit like mean value now as you can see we randomly scattered like 50 different rocks on different points if you use, you want to use this technique for the particles just make sure here in the attribute rango let me just open the visual studio code just don't use the pt num because in particle simulation your particle number is going to change each frame most of the cases right so just use the at id here it would need automatically going to create an id attribute you can just use here id between 1 to 50 or 1 to 10 for example if i change this 1 to 50 to 1 to 10 now we get like 10 rocks randomly scattered on the points and also you can use other attributes like orient like cd or any attribute that you use the in a normal copy so if I middle click here, you can see this one is packed disk primitive. So this one is different than this copy node. You also have you have, you can pack and copy to points right here. Pack an instance. This this one is a uh, in memory pack primitive, and but this one is packed disk primitive. It's, it is more efficient compared to in memory because it's going to load from the disk. So you don't need to, for example, if you have a like heavy geometry and you want to just instance on the point, you don't need to keep it in memory. It's going to load it at render time from disk. So it's going to be extremely efficient for big scene. And also you can read in the about the instancing Houdini into documentation. Here there is a very nice information and it's like in memory pack primitive as I talked before and pack this primitive also here. Here you can read about it and also there is a pack disk sequence primitive also if your instances are animated you can also use uh, this one this technique and at the end is going to this documentation they're talking about how you can just use uh, the, the rendering how you can assign materials and stuff so this documentation is highly recommended if you want to le learn how the instance and packed primitives work in general in Houdini Okay, that's it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.